Can I fix under eye wrinkles when smiling? I had my eyes done 13 years ago. When I smile, the wrinkles are awful and my doctors say Botox won't help. Thank you for your question. You've submitted a question where you have um, written down that you're, you had eyelid surgery done some time ago and that when you smile, you're very frustrated with the wrinkles under your eyes and that your doctor said that Botox won't help. Well, this is a, um, this is a very common issue. As a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon uh, performing surgery for over 20 years, I can tell you that one of the most challenging areas that we have had to deal with has to do with skin quality under the eyes. See, eyelid skin is the thinnest skin in the body. It's half a millimeter in thickness. And as we get older and as there are many environmental challenges, um, you, the skin quality becomes diminished. So f since the 90s, and prior to that it was chemical peel, but since the 90s, the solution was always some type of thermal energy treatment. So first it was a CO2 laser, then it became the erbium laser, and then various different uh, types of um, lasers developed over the past several years. Then came fractional lasers. But the bottom line was there was always a heat resulting in collagen uh, generation. And most recently, radio frequency devices have become all the rage. The problem is, is that as we age, skin volume diminishes at many different levels. And in reviewing this issue and, and within my own practice, uh, being frustrated with not being able to heat the skin enough to get the quality that we want, um, and understanding that overheating the skin results in not only potential of scarring, but it's been my observation that many people who have had laser treatments actually the skin gets thinner. So I'm not going to offer you a typical solution such as laser in isolation. In our practice, we have been using a material called platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is your own blood and the growth factors that are critical for healing being isolated so that, and it's done in, in our office, we do a simple blood draw and we spin it down the blood and we inject this platelet-rich plasma under the skin. And what we've observed is that the quality of the skin improves. Now, no matter what, as long as you're smiling or moving, you're going to have wrinkles under the eyes. But improving the skin quality, what differentiates platelet-rich plasma is that platelet-rich plasma stimulates new blood vessels, stimulates this new collagen, as well as improving the quality at, a, at, at a multiple levels that, does cause, that is based on activation of your own stem cells that is distinctively different enough than the effect that, of thermal energy that it has become my routine to actually do platelet-rich plasma injections for our patients prior to doing any thermal treatment when it's appropriate. So looking at the photo you submitted, your skin looks very, very thin. So in the combination approach of maybe a, neuro, uh, a, a neuroparalytic or a, um, a neurotoxin like Botox or and the uh, use of a thermal energy device like a laser, fractional CO2, I would probably do platelet-rich plasma and allow a gap of three to four months between treatments to try to see how much we can get the skin quality to improve. And that would be my approach as part of the overall game plan. Youth and smoothness don't necessarily go together. The the improvement of the quality of the skin and getting some glow back to the skin, something that's also very unique with platelet-rich plasma, is something that we've been able to achieve for our patients. So as you do your research, you will 
probably come across a lot of different solutions, but you can at least learn to categorize what those solutions are. Too many people are chasing the latest, most hyped laser. And in the end, it is my opinion that too much heat is being generated these days in the, in the pursuit of, um, of, of smoothing out skin. And it is powered by a lot of hype. So understanding what happens to your skin and knowing that there are some other alternatives can hopefully help guide you to uh, making a, a decision that will be helpful to you in the long run. So I wish you the best of luck. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for your question.